Hello good people of YouTube, All About Nat is back with another video and I'm back with a late night video which is unusual for me um, but as you know the SS19 Supreme Lookbook has dropped. Now I was at work when it dropped this morning and I have been able to get sort of sneaky looks throughout the day um, but I've only just managed to have a proper look now so I have highlighted some items okay that I think are worth talking about and that I quite like some of them won't be buying but worth talking about and some will be buying and I like now if you're new to my channel and you want to see live videos and you want to see previews throughout this season as well as sneaker news in between and lots of other great stuff then please subscribe to my channel and also we are doing a giveaway at 1000 subs so please do all those good things and all will be well in the world yes right without further ado we've got a lot to talk about let's get into this i will say from the off i'm not that enamoured with this season um, on the whole it's quite disappointing I would say just a sort of an overview I would say the clothing is very disappointing but the accessories are good now the clothing is probably the weakest season I have seen since 1996 yes it's probably the weakest season I've ever seen I've got to be honest. Now, this is just my opinion before you go mad in the comments. Just my opinion. We're all entitled to it. And I urge you to give your opinion on this season down in the comments. Now, okay, back to this. This is amazing. This is amazing. It is the Supreme Pearl Drum Kit. Five piece will sit with five piece with zildjian cymbals now i did used to play the drums when i was younger i had a five piece drum kit it was a hona drum kit the same brand as the melodica last season um and this would have been amazing i would have been all over this if we had space and i had the money and there was any chance of getting it because there is going to be zero chance of getting this there's probably going to be about 50 it's most likely will be inside in store only um but wow wow is all i can say on this I urge you if you've got the space you've got the money and you can get in store i mean it might not be in store only but just from previous seasons um i would urge you to get this i would urge you to sign up and get in line and hope for the best because this is a brilliant drum kit okay the next item i am looking at is the director's chairs now this is a possibility for me i do like both red and black but i am confused as to why they are dropping the director's chair because it's not that long ago that they dropped a black and red director's chair or is it just black I'm not sure um, but I do like it I do need a new chair this chair is knackered it would be great um, and yeah but depends on the price we'll just have to see but I do like this it's beach hardwood with canvas back and seat 18 inches on the seat height whether it be high enough I don't know but it's a possibility Again, as I say, depending on the price. Now, oh, so they're doing a collaboration with Old Dirty Bastard, obviously from Wu-Tang Clan. I love him. I've got, um, as I say, I've got the albums, Wu-Tang Clan. I've been a fan of ODB for years. Oh my God, who remembers uh, the collaboration with Khalees, that song? Hey, dirty. Baby, I got your money, don't you worry. I said, hey, baby, I got your money. Enough of that. Um, yeah, this rug, 
want it, want it, must have it, please don't be too expensive. Acrylic rug made by Gallery 1950, original album artwork, obviously we know the album. Oh my god, yeah. Return to the 36 chambers, I want this, I want this rug, yes. Please just don't be too expensive, god damn it. Right. Um, ba -ba. If you want to see the full lookbook and you haven't seen it yet, I'm sure you know the places to go. Supreme Community or Supreme Website. Right, next piece. Supreme Mayaletti Mocha Mocha Express Coffee Machine. Yes, please. Please don't be too expensive. I'm going to have to look and see how much they are, the Bialetti Coffee Machine makers. Not machine. Pourer thing I'm gonna have to check on that because I love my coffee this would be lovely but we're just gonna have to see again a lot of this is dependent on price you know so I'm gonna have a check on those on that brand of uh, coffee maker and we'll see how we get on but this is beautiful this is a beautiful item now if you like your Hot Wheels, you're going to love this. The Supreme Hot Wheels Fleet Flyer 1992 BMW. So it's a lorry with a bloody thing that your car flies out of. Yeah, baby. This, I say it now, this is a collector's item. Okay, this is a collector's item. In a couple of years' time, this is going to go for a lot of money. Um, yeah, I suspect. I think it's going to rise in value very quickly. Um, but I, I mean, I also think this is going to be a very hyped item as well. But generally, if you are a collector and you love your accessories, I would say get it for sure. The pins, okay, so you know me, I love my pins. I love my pins. So the two pins that are dropping this season are I Make Shit Happen. This looks fire, this looks very nice, and it looks like I shall be getting it. And then the power drill pin. Now this comes in three colours. I'm interested to know, will they be dropping this randomly? Will they be handing these out randomly? Or will you be able to buy the three separate colours? I am hoping you can buy the three separate colours because I want to get all three colours. Please don't do it randomly, because I'll be very upset by that. And then, on to the next piece. They are dropping a fair few te decks, and I like what they're dropping. I think there's some nice decks in here. Obviously, I want the ODB deck. That is a must, once again. This deck is, yeah, it's a thing of beauty. And then, oh... This couldn't be more perfect for me. My favourite skate brand, whilst I was a young nipper, was New Deal. And lo and behold, they drop a skate deck by Andy Howell, who obviously rode for New Deal. And it's his artwork. And when I saw it, I thought, oh my God, I didn't even read who it was by. I just thought, that is New Deal. And yes, it's by the same guy. So it's a howl, looks like a howl deck. In fact, it's got his name at the bottom on the, of the deck. Which colourway is what, I don't, I'm not sure. I'm thinking either black background or teal black back, background. Um, but this is a fantastic deck and I will be getting this as well. Where am I going to put them? Where am I going to put them? I've got hardly any wall space. <laughs> so those are the accessories and those are some highlights for me in the accessories. The This item is a Gore-Tex Harrington jacket. Now, they come in three colourways, like a tan, black and a chequered um, pink, orange, brown, etc. This is a beautiful piece. It's a small box logo as well. And I just love the colour. The checkered is what I would go for. But my only 
stipulation with this is the fact of the price because it's Gore-Tex it's bound to be expensive so depending on the price we'll just have to see on this because <sighs> again I just don't know I, I have a feeling it's going to be very 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 expensive um, and then what else have we got we have in the hoodies I am disappointed by the hoodies the hoodies and the tees I think are very very weak and the pants in fact the clothing the clothing is not great I don't know what they were doing with the clothing but I have picked out one hoodie that I do think is nice historically it is nice it is the Apple classic logo um, hoodie now if you don't know obviously I've been buying Supreme since I was since I was younger or 1996 I've been buying Supreme and this was one of the very first tees they brought out in 94 I think it was 94 yeah and um, they brought out the apple obviously to, it represents the big apple um, and they're redoing it this season they are redoing another design um, I can't remember what the name of it is but they're redoing another design that is an older design um, and I think it's nice when they bring older classic designs back so this is a possibility but again we don't get smalls in the UK we don't get smalls in the hoodies or the t-shirts very annoying so I kind of don't want another oversized piece <clears throat> but anyway we we will see how it goes okay so pants that I I think are nice um we are looking at the Gore-Tex pants Again, Gore-Tex, it's going to be expensive, but these are beautiful. Um, they come in four different colours, uh, red and white, black and white, um, like an olive and blue, and a royal blue and red. Again, I've got to look at the prices, but these are nice. I like these pants a lot. The other pants I was looking at are the Formula which obviously I'm presuming they mean Formula Racing, Formula One. Um, the Formula Sweatpants and I like the red. No, I don't. What am I talking about? I like the tan colourway and I like the, the navy colourway. They look nice. I would like to get the tan, but again, it's all dependent on price because I'm just hoping they've not gone up again this season because that would be slightly taking the Michael. The only bag I'm digging is the utility pouch in camo. I like that. But again, my, ha my problem with bags is I don't feel like they've, been, they've done a decent, I don't mind them, but there's no detailing like they used to do, like back in sort of the early 2000s, uh, sorry, mid to sort of late 2000s, they were doing great little details on them like secret pockets and just far more detailed than they've kind of the bigger the supreme has gone the more generic the bags have gone for me um obviously i love the brand i'm not slating them i'm just being honest it's an honest critique i am transparent i'm not going to lie to you when i'm not going to say that i love something when I don't and i just think the bags have gone a little bit generic um, but on the whole, I'd give it a 6 out of 10, right? A 6 out of 10. And, and let me know down below, what are you giving this season? If you gave it out of 10, what would you give the season? Um, it's lost a lot of points because of the clothing. The clothing, I'd say the accessories has saved it but the clothing is very, very average. I am really hoping that the collabs come through. Um, I'm very surprised if, like they've not done an ODB hoodie or an ODB t-shirt. Might come maybe later on with a added to like a kind of collaboration type thing. They've, they've done that, obviously they did it with Cat in the Hat. They did it with like the summer tees or something. Um, so they have done that before. So I'm hoping they might do, I know they've got the jersey but 
I just thought they might have done a t-shirt or a hoodie. Imagine if they'd done an ODB pin. Oh, that would have been amazing. Um, but yeah, it's a 6 out of 10. But it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Obviously, the more I save with Supreme, the more that can go on to sneakers. Um, but I will be, obviously, depending on what is dropping week one, if there's stuff in there that obviously is on my want list, I will be doing a live purchase video okay i will be doing never fear i will be doing my previews every single week so i might not have a live that week but i will be doing my preview no, i will be doing my previews so you will still get your supreme fix we will talk about what is dropping i will be talking about the collaborations so all that will be happening every single week and then unboxing of sneakers, which I have one unboxing to come after this video. Um, I've just, it's just arrived. So my next video will be an unboxing. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for your support this far. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And all about that, we'll see you on the next one. Keep it real guys.